As a male, what are you supposed slash expected to do when your female friend slash partner complains about menstrual pain? My partner says, do you need anything? If I do I say yes, if I'm venting I say no, job done. Strangely enough it was quite the revelation to me when I learned that people sometimes just want to vent and aren't necessarily looking for a solution. That's rough buddy. Follow up with a punch in the arm to solidify the plutonic relationship. Rice sock. Fill a tube sock with rice, tie it off at the end, and heat in the microwave for 2 minutes. Perfectly sized, portable heating pad that conforms to the female body in just the right way to help with cramps. Semicolon. Sorry for being stupid but, what happens with cooked rice? It's wet. It's harder to knock them out with. Sorry, that sucks. Is there anything I can get you? What you don't do, is say I know exactly how you feel. I got kicked in the nuts, when I was 12. I just boil some water. Slash S. Real answer. I wait for a window in the pain, when she's able to talk. And then I ask if I can get her anything. I also keep a mental list of all the things she's asked for in the past. So I can get them easily. For example, I know exactly how my wife likes her tea. The critical key is making sure your partner understands that you're 100% on board with helping them. Don't ever groan or be sluggish. If they tell you something you can do, jump out of your chair and eagerly do it right then. Equals P. Shouldn't be slash s, because warm water is actually great for period pain tbh. Anything to make the body warm, like warm water, heat packs, warm water bottle. My wife swears by dry rice in a tied off large sock. Also it smells really nice like toasted rice, when we microwave it. Make sure your bathroom is female friendly. You will be a superhero among your friend group, if you keep a bag of pads tucked away in your bathroom cabinet just in case. Women also need a trash can to throw away sanitary products in, and it couldn't hurt to have some ibuprofen handy, either. Trash can with a lid is even better. Or at least a bag slash lining. If you're going to have a trash bin without lining you may as well just chalk out a trash area on the floor. Don't do anything you've seen in a comedy movie. Oh, I dunno, Ashton Kutcher showing up with cupcakes was acceptable in my opinion. That could work then. Yeah do that cupcakes always work. I don't think you're backslash supposed backslash to do anything, but there are things you can do slash provide that may help your partner feel better. Abdomen or back rub. This one tends more towards the partner's own of course. A hot water bottle or heated blanket may help. Pills, there are one specifically for female cramps and PMS etc. Parters or close friends. I have picked up some for a good friend who had terrible cramps. I know her brand. Pads as needed. Chocolate as desired. Ice cream or a hot drink as preferred. Some women cold stuff seems to make it worse. Just listen to them about it. Semicolon. Basically, what would you expect or hope somebody of the opposing sex to do for you if you hurt your back or had some other cause of chronic pain? Maybe you might not expect anything but there are plenty of nice gestures that can make you feel a bit better. Not every time, but sometimes. Hell. Even a good steak dinner as a bit of red meat helps with iron deficiencies associated with blood loss. Semicolon. Backslash disclaimer. I'm a dude. I have had varying degrees of appreciation slash success with the above with both my spouse and various female friends. Use judgment when applying the above to your own situation. Dude the iron deficiency thing is real. I crave red meat and dark greens like spinach the first couple days off my period. Even dark chocolate has iron in it. If a dude made me a steak dinner with creamed spinach and then some chocolate pudding or something, he'd get a lot of love afterward. Take her mind off of it with some refreshing heroin. Love that you went straight to the good stuff. Why is menstrual pain NSFW? Leftover Puritan ignorance, we are working on it. If they are a friend just try to comfort them, and maybe give them chocolate slash snacks. If they are a partner you should maybe rub their stomach if they want. Cuddle with them, give them heating pads, buy them a bunch of chocolate and snacks and foods that they like ECT. Cuddles are always nice just saying. If I tried to rub my wife's stomach she would probably yell get the fuck off me and go snuggle with the dog. Then I would get a request for Twix or Kit Kats. I love her so much. She has the correct response. I don't think anyone with cramps wants a tummy massage. Weirdly enough, I'm one of the few people that finds it alleviates some of it. 
Sometimes I just need a giant man hand to put some warm pressure on my rebellious uterus. Toss us the heating pad and the bottle of ibuprofen. If we take care of you when you're sick, we expect at least a modicum of care when we say we are in pain. Get me medol, a glass of water, a hot water bottle, a fuzzy blanket, and comfort food. I can be stubborn when I'm in pain and just be like I'm fine. I don't need anything. My husband who knows better will often just get me these things because he's a smarty pants who knows me better than I know myself lol. For friends, I keep disposable heating pads, ibuprofen W paracetamol, and if I have advance notice chocolate in my bag at all times, I discreetly let them know it's available upon request. I also have a jacket just for lending out. Some get super sensitive to cold temperatures during their period. Some just want to curl it up into a ball and use it as a pillow or something to hug really tightly. I keep it washed of course. Now I'm wondering what you would do for a girlfriend. Conquer a nation, I think. Same as you'd react if any of your friends of any gender was complaining about an on life threatening but very annoying pain. You could ask if there's anything you can do to help. You could offer a cup of tea or a heating pad. You could see if they'd like a Tylenol or Rabble. Just be cool and ask what you can do to help her feel better. If she's in a bad mood, leave her alone. Don't pressure her for sex. Women hate that shit. How do I know what'll make you feel better, my dick, SMH. But for real though, a lot of the time it works. I've heard an orgasm can help pain from cramps. Unfortunately that's not true for me. Just listen. Say something like that sucks. If there's anything I can do to help you feel better, let me know. Follow up question. Do guys get bothered when their GF complain about cramps or other period stuff because it's something they can't fix? Like do your minds go to fix it? It does bother me when I can't just make the pain go away. However, I have enough experience to keep it from showing. Shout high five. Just kidding. Don't do that. You'll die. And if they go to high five you, pull your hand out of the way and say too slow. Guaranteed laughs all around. So you have chosen death. Oh dang. That sounds awful and just let her talk about it if she wants to. I live with a girl, woman. She's like 23. And I normally treat lady topics like any other conversation. Be curious if appropriate. Try to respect them and their feelings. And don't be too argumentative for no reason. There are forks passed from time to time when we misunderstand each other, but for the most part it seems to work pretty well. She's like 23, woman, dude. Yeah I know, it's just weird cause I'm 25 and don't really call myself a man generally. It'll just hit you one day that indeed you are an adult. Offer an egg in their trying time, egg for an egg. Just take my upvote and get out to here. Always be supportive and listen. Don't try to give advice on something that us men don't go through. When I was younger I made the mistake of saying to man up about it. Now I will gladly go to the store pick up the right tampons, medication and some dark chocolate. Also keep a heating pad somewhere and offer it if needed. Source, husband and father of a 14 year old daughter. As a 14 year old daughter, I thank you for your service. I grew up with a younger sister. My dad taught me that sometimes saying you're uncomfortable out loud helps. When I moved out I expected she would come and visit so I keep some pads under the bath sink just in case. I didn't slash don't know what size to get but I think it's the thought that counts. Since she has never said they are bad she just says thanks. I'd ask but then it's weird. On a side note feminine hygiene products are expensive and get taxed how have women not rioted over that yet? It's on the to do list. The list is so long, and sometimes put up with this bullshit, while trying to make changes takes up so much energy that drink mojitus just gets bumped ahead of riot. Just say something like, that must suck, anything I can do to help, or would you like to just vent a bit? Normally I offer my fiance a motrin, her little heating pad or even some chocolate, I can't make the pain go away, but I can make her as comfortable as possible even with the ongoing pain. Nothing at all, from a female. Sometimes it's just us venting or acknowledging in case we are acting different slash wincing slash holding our lower stomach, and probably looks odd to someone who doesn't know what's going on. Each person is different, so I can only say what I need. 
Absolutely don't act like we are lazy though. When I get cramps, I get an intense ache in my lower back, abdominal area, and all the way down my legs into my toes. I take a combination of acetaminophen and ibuprofen around the clock. Weed also helps a lot, and eating pads, but nothing makes the cramps go away completely. So there are a couple of days each month where I just want to sit around and relax because I'm so uncomfortable and atchy. If you offer to cook, run errands, or do chores while they are too uncomfortable to do those things, they'll probably appreciate that a lot. Someone with cramps may enjoy a hot bath with Epsom salts or a massage on whatever areas hurt. I don't find messages helpful, personally, so you can offer, but they might decline. If they are emotional, just try to be patient and acknowledge their feelings, unless they are being outright mean. If they are irritable, but not directing it at you in a mean way, probably just give them some space. As a male, I would add one thing, don't offer to do chores, just go do them, but absolutely, under no circumstances, cook anything for her without finding out what she wants. Ice cream. I know men tend to be fixers, but try to understand it's not really a problem that can be fixed. It's part of our biology and we'll have to deal with it for our entire lives. Let us vent and eat ice cream with us. Maybe some ibuprofen too. Give them a chocolate bar. Hasn't failed me yet. Have a Snickers. Cause you're not you when you're hungry. Nothing. She's venting.